eat and sleep, right? Basketball and wow. And like, that's like all I did for like a good two years. I was hanging out with my roommates. We'd stay up four or 5 a.m. and then be like, who wants to go to McDonald's? And like, all right, it's down the street. Chicken and then, nuggets. Yeah, no nuggets. It was sausage egg McMuffins, actually. Nice, breakfast um, menu. Breakfast menu, I'd yeah. say you know you're a real wire player when you hit that breakfast menu yeah, after It was right. dark. You'd eat the breakfast and then like half an hour later you fall asleep and that's not what you want to do. <laughs> like. Ugh. This is like the most boring episode of these 10 videos, but your story is probably like the most common of all of them. Yeah, I mean, I guess like, I don't have anything special because I was thinking, man, I wonder if they asked me to do this, yeah. what would my story be? Like, what would be that one big thing? And I don't know if I have that one big thing, but like you said, I feel like I'm kind of just like everyone else that plays well. You know, they, they've gone through each expansion, like from the beginning, a lot of them kind of feel the same way of like, oh, I think I should stop. Like, I, there's no reason to keep going. Every time you feel like you hit the end point of this game and of, of what they have, and you're just like, oh, what am I gonna do? Jump around and Ogre Mar some more on the mailbox? Like, I wasted so many hours just hitting space bar, space bar, space bar. And after Cataclysm, or like mid Cataclysm, they started making it kind of even more casual than it, it was before. It was like, you could look for raid, you can just do all these things, and half the raid could be AFK. And for me, that's kind of the point where I was like, well, this game isn't what it used to be, right? It wasn't as hardcore, I hate to use that word, but it wasn't the same WoW that it was before. It was too easy. I felt like they were, I know why they did it, because they're trying to grab a bigger audience, but that kind of turned me off from the game because I would, I would be doing that looking for raid thing and my buddy that was there, I'm watching like numbers and, and charts and stuff like that, like DPS meters, whatnot. And he's like at a couple thousand. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm eating. I'm like, wait, what do you mean you're eating? And I'm like, okay, I guess this is the point where this game isn't the game anymore. So, uh, so have you gone back for every expansion pack then as well? I I went through every one except Mr. Pandaria, okay. which was the last one. That was the time when I, would, I put the foot down and I was like, nope, never again. This game has sucked away too many of my hours, too many of my dollars. It's like, I'm never gonna come back. So what happened? We went to BlizzCon. Like BlizzCon is a great event. It's, it's a great place for Blizzard to show case all their new games and whatnot but what it really is is it's community and what it is is all the it's mainly wow a lot of the wow people that play the game together this is their opportunity to be like this is our spot and that and that is powerful that is amazing and when we had the couple number i think it was number three right yes. when we had the couple over just listening to their story and their trials and tribulations of what they went through like from original wow as like progressively and then after the fact, after I'm like, yeah, Twin M's, F the Twin M's, because I know exactly what that's like. And I, I remember telling them like, kids these days don't even know what it's like to have to walk from the graveyard all the way back to Twin M's. That in itself was 30 minutes, you know? And a lot of this game for me, which is, I don't know how it is for everyone else, but it was a very social thing, right? Have a conversation and you're playing the game, but you're really almost hanging out more than you're playing the game. Yeah. Sans like doing a raid or like doing a dungeon or something like that. That started to dwindle too. Like all like people just stopped playing and that once they people stop playing, it's like, what am I gonna do now? But for me, really this game will teeter off the same way I think for a lot of people when I either A, run out of content to really do, or B, when I see the drop off of my friends. Everyone comes back. Everyone comes back. You see your friends list is blowing up 20, 30 people. And you see one month, seven, two months, five, three months, it's like three, four <laughs> months, it's like, oh, you're like the last one left. And yeah. you're just like, well, I guess it's time because that's just kind of how it is. It's a cycle, right? Yeah.